just at this point, um, how are you feeling as far as uh, being in Bloomington, the workouts, everything, the, being around the coaching staff every day? How's that going? It's been great. I mean, it's all things considered, it's been a smooth adjustment. And I'm really happy to be here and finally get to work and start uh, trying to get better as a football player and as a teammate. I know that you had a lot of connections with some of the guys that are coming in as far as your offensive line goes. How are you feeling being around some of those mid-year guys? I know Cam's here, uh, Luke Haggard's here, those guys. Yeah, I mean, Cam and I have been talking a lot basically since he committed, so we've got to know each other pretty well. And Luke, I mean, I only met a few weeks ago, but we're all really good friends now, and we hang out a ton in our free time, and uh, it's a special group, and we hang out with people a lot, too. It's fun guys. You know, Randy is another Fort Wayne guy. I don't know how much you guys talk, but are you communicating with him kind of what it's like back here? Yeah, a little bit. We are we all really talking in our uh, group chat with all the commits. So okay. Just kind of they're asking questions, and we're answering, and just like, just be ready, because it's, it's an adjustment, but it's great, and it's where we all want to be, so. What are some things that you needed to adjust to that you are telling them in the group chat? Um, I would say you just got to make sure you know how to manage your time. That's a big one. Like, make sure you can get to bed on time. Make sure you know when you're getting your school stuff done. Make sure you're on time and early to all of the workouts and team meetings, stuff like that, because that stuff matters. And that's how you eventually get better as a player and as a person. What was about Indiana the dream? Why Indiana? Family. Um, I'm a list of five, and I'm really close with my immediate family back in Fort Wayne. And when I understood the culture and the atmosphere that was going on in Bloomington, I knew that's where I wanted to be. You might have been asked this already, but just talk about the first, I guess it's been about six weeks, the workouts. What's kind of been the toughest part of the biggest transition for you? Uh, it's been great, honestly. The transition all the way around has been pretty smooth. Um, the workouts are intense, but I love them because I know that every day when you go in there, you're going to get better, and you're working towards a greater goal that the team wants to accomplish, which is have a, have a better season than we did last year and build on the success that we've already had. I think I read a story in the Fort Wayne Gazette about Indiana's efforts there and stuff. And what kind of presence do they have there? And, uh, just uh, how, how you know, good of a recruiting area do you think it can be? Um, I mean, Fort Wayne is definitely a, a hotbed for high school football. I mean, the Summit Athletic Conference specifically, which compromises all the schools of uh, around Fort Wayne. I mean, there's some great, great football talent there for sure. I mean, even the last few years, some great players have come out of there. And um, I think it's definitely starting to get on the map for sure. And in Indiana does a great job of recruiting there. The fact you came from a, a strong, successful program, how much does that help prepare you for what you're about to do? For sure. I mean, Dwinger has definitely been really successful um, historically and even in the past few years. Uh, we won a state championship when I was a junior. So um, it's been great uh, being able to try and take what I've learned to being a part of a winning culture in high school and applying it to whatever I can do to contribute here. Bush Dwinger has some connections to Indiana that, that date back to recent seasons, but um, have you ever been able to have any conversations with some guys kind of prepare you kind of coming in? I actually got to meet uh, quarterback Chris Ditto a few uh, few months ago, which was really cool to sit down and talk with him and just like catch up because I don't, didn't know if he knew who I was, but I knew who he was, so talked to him and introduced myself, so that was really cool. And um, uh, the late, great Yule Wilson, I've met his mom before, and she has a lot of ties still that does stuff with Dwinger, so that's been, it's been great to uh, have those connections. For you, when you get on the field, what are you, I guess, kind of most looking forward to? Yeah, you know, first time with college players and, like, you know, kind of big time environment, just what kind of things do you want to judge yourself by? I just want to try and focus on going out there and, and giving 110% and just, just trying to get better every day because that's all you can do right now is you got to focus on getting better and, and just take it day by day.